Hey class, uh, Ashley had asked a really good question that I thought merited a response to everyone and I uh, decided to put this on YouTube because something's not working with my phone and the app today. I don't, I don't know, so that's why I did this. Um, but I wanted to answer a question about the final project and um, exactly what is going on with that, okay? So let me let me answer the first part really clearly. There are three options. You pick one, okay? So if you pick the pastor track, you do not do the other ones. If you pick the scholar track, you don't do the other ones. If you pick the teacher track, that's the only one you do. So I hope you, you've caught that. Um, now, let me talk about the similarities between the three. If you scroll down and you see a section that says criteria for success, that applies to all three assignments. Those, those things do. That's how you're going to be graded. So when you type things, it needs to be uh, an essay, not just bullet points. So if this is a sermon that you're writing, pretend it's a manuscript. You're writing it out. If it's the, uh, the teacher track and it's a Sunday school lesson, again, write it out. Um, and so when if you're doing the Sunday school lesson, you're going to need to include some other things as well. Um, if you're doing the scholar track, obviously you're writing it out. I want to see like, with all of these, you need a cover page. You, you need to use footnotes. I'm going to get into that again in a moment. And then, um, you need to have a bibliography at the end of your, of your essay. So your essay should have three sections. It should have an introduction, subheading, introduction. You give your introduction, subheading, um, content or whatever the actual content, you know, would be. And, uh, and then you would give your, your content, your body paragraphs, if you will, where you're making your argument. Then you would give your last subheading, which is conclusion. And it would kind of be summarizing and then giving an implication, maybe in a sentence at the end. So, um, important things about those footnotes. Uh, you need to have two footnotes on each page. Uh, so if you're writing three pages, six footnotes. If you're writing six pages, 12 footnotes, two on each page. You see where I'm going with this? Okay, so um, I'm gonna say you need to have at least minimum five sources on this assignment, okay? Textbooks, those can be sources. Um, journal articles, those can be sources. Really good places to look at the library on your phone or your um, computer would be in the um, the Atla Religion database. Look for um, actually look for these texts and then look for articles that are published in uh, the journal for what is it? It's J E T S Jets uh, Journal of the Evangelical Theological Society. Those, those would be good. Um, Journal for the Study of the New Testament. Journal for the Study of the Old Testament. Uh, Catholic Bible Quarterly. Um, there's one, New Horizons. There's um, Zygon. There's, there's a bunch of really good ones. Um, the idea is that you want to have some peer-reviewed journal articles that you do. Those are going to be PDF downloads. You don't have to go anywhere. Sitting right at your computer using your phone, you can get those. You can read them, okay? Using other databases at the library, you can probably get um, really good commentaries. Uh, some of the good commentaries that you would want to use are things like the New American Commentary, maybe the Holman uh, Commentary. Um, those are broken. It's like H-C-N-T, H-C-O-T. Um, Tyndale Commentary is kind of on the border, and I'm going to come back to that because it's a little bit devotional. Um, uh, the, the NIV application commentary, NIV AC, those are good. Um, Hermeneus series, Anchor Yale Bible commentary, those are super deep, and I know you can get those through the library. You can get access to that if you, if you dig around. Um, so you can get things to use. Things not to use are um, Matthew Henry's commentary or another uh, single volume commentary. Those kinds of things are super helpful. I give those to my new uh, small group leaders and things. Um, they're not academic commentaries. 
Same thing with like Warren Wiersbe's B series. Great stuff for teaching, not something to use for writing an academic paper, okay? Um, don't use anything that is more than like 40 years old. Scholarship has changed. We've, we've got new manuscripts. We've, uh, people have started reading, re reading just books in different ways. Uh, read response theory, all that stuff has come into vogue. Uh, I don't particularly go with that, but you need to be able to, to address some of those things. And so obviously an older uh, book is not going to do that. Make sure you avoid stuff like, you know, Pastor Fred's blog or um, uh, Wikipedia or something like that. Um, those kinds of things, even if it's like Dr. Fred, you know, still avoid those because they're not peer reviewed. That is a big difference. Uh, something that's peer reviewed, published in a journal, has been um, looked at by other people in the field. Doesn't necessarily mean they agree with it, but it does mean that it's well reasoned and that it's thought out and it's well researched, okay? Um, and so that's the kind of thing that you wanna look at. Um, don't use a study Bible. Obviously those are helpful and I use them in my own devotional reading, but they're not a source for an academic paper. Devotional books, uh, you know, um, I'm, I'm blanking right now on a, on a devotional book, um, but um, I've read a lot of really good, helpful devotional books. Um, I don't think those are anywhere near appropriate for uh, seminary papers. So uh, avoid those. Use uh, journal articles and good reference type books. Now let's get back to the different tracks. If you're doing the teacher track, um, you need to write about four pages. Uh, again, that would be probably a page to each of your points, your main ideas that you're, you're talking about. If you look at the teacher track, it says you need to have some main ideas. You also need to include um, an explan uh, some kind of handout or, or visual aid for your lesson, okay? That's if you're doing the teacher track. Now I'm gonna switch over to the pastor track. Um, your sermon that you're writing should be four to six pages. That's a pretty short sermon to write, um, but you know, write, you're writing a page. This A sermon in this context is something that's gonna be sermonic, uh, but it still needs to have those footnotes. It still needs to have those references. So does the teacher track. Um, Let's see, the conclusion of your sermon should have an application portion that explains to your audience how the principles of the text apply to their lives. So in other words, what's the payoff? Why, why read this? What do I learn? What do I, how do I change my life from this? Um, so illustrations are appropriate in the sermon and should be directed towards your intended audience. Now, if you're writing a scholar track, paper, you need a three to six page paper, more towards the six pages. Um, it should have an introduction that has a thesis. Uh, a thesis should be something to the effect of Psalm, Psalm 1 should be understood in this way. Uh, Micah 6, 1 through 8 uh, should be read this way or should be applied in this way. Um, and then you use the body arguing for each paragraph should be making a point that supports your thesis. And then you have a conclusion where you kind of summarize your argument and then you might give uh, one sentence that um, kind of deals with an implication or something like that. Um, so I think I've actually covered most of that. You will need to have five or more appropriate sources. Yeah, so that's what I said, five sources with footnotes and a bibliography. Again, five sources is for everybody. If you're doing a sermon, you know, use those those uh, teaching commentaries like the Holman uh, New Testament commentary or the uh, the NIV AC. Those those are great. They have really good uh, application stuff in them, and they're scholarly stuff. So make sure that you use those um, teacher track. Same thing. Um, I think I've been really long winded on this. So if you have any other questions, please let me know.